be talking about my OC, Aura Stonehall, which was one of the most wanted OCs for me to talk about. So let's get right into it. Just kind of a warning beforehand, I'd like to apologize if I get carried away because I <laughs> really do easily when I'm talking about my OCs. So if I talk, start talking about something else, I will probably just have it where you can skip ahead or something. I don't know. Okay, let's get started. So here are some basics about Aura. Aura's full name is Aura Cordelia Rafferty Stonehall, and yes, I have full names for all of my OCs. Most of them have middle names, some of them don't. Anyways, she is 15 years old, and that is actually the youngest member of the, like, quote-unquote group of OCs. She lives in Afnip City, which is like the main city in my story. Okay, let's talk appearance. Aura is 5'1", or 155 centimeters. Her hair is a wavy, silverish white kind of color. Her eyes are supposed to be like a frost blue, like a bluish gray, really light color. And she is extremely pale because she has a form of albinism. She looks pretty normal other than that. She's like really skinny and like lean. She doesn't have that much muscle for being a fighter like she is. And her aesthetic is like a soft girl, kind of light academia aesthetic. It's kind of in between whatever she's like feeling on the day, I guess. Okay, time to go into like family and lover and history, I guess. I don't know what to call this section. I'm not sure who to make Aura like or like her lover because I'm still developing her relationships with my other OCs and how she fits into the story. But if you guys think any of my OCs would work well with her, let me know in the description down below comments comments down below as i've said before i really enjoy making names for my character like their first middle and last name so i actually have the names of both of her parents first middle and last so her mother is talia gwen rafferty which is one of aura's two last names and her father is Bleckham, sorry beckham clyde stonehall they're both ryumian and they're both unmarried Aura has no siblings because soon after she was born, her mother was sent to join Queen Eva in her conquest to basically take over the world. Anyways, early life. Sorry if this sounds robotic because I'm reading this off of a character sheet that I've made for all of my OCs, kind of telling my information about them. I don't know. Anyways, early life. So Aura lived most of her life in Royum with her father. She never really got to know her mother before she was called to help Queen Eva and her rampage. This is also the reason for the name Stonehall rather than Rafferty. Aura like never knew her mother so she kind of just used the name Stonehall rather than Rafferty Stonehall because her mother and father have different last names. Aura lived a pretty normal life other than having a mother that was pretty famous for planning Queen Eva's attacks. When Talia was home, her mother, Rayleigh, she would read and play with Aura no matter how tired she was. But one day, Talia just stopped coming home. But the Aram Joyce Union, which is like the union or empire that Queen Eva is controlling, never sent like a death letter informing the family of her mother's death. Aura's last memory of her mother was when she was able to manipulate water for the first time, though she was unable to do it again. And that's kind of a big thing for Aura's character because she is not able to manipulate water. Even though she is a water elementist, she's only able to manipulate ice and snow and freeze water into ice or snow. So Aura being able to manipulate water was a big character moment for her, even though she has been unsuccessful at trying to do it ever again. Soon after Aura's mother disappeared, she and her father moved to Afnip City for her father's work, where she encountered Skye as her assassin alter ego, which I do not have a name for yet because I'm trying to come up with like a cool one, if you know what I mean. Because I have a few ideas for Skye, but like her abilities just kind of make them basic names like Shadow and Ghost, and I don't really like those, and I'm trying to come something more creative. So if I do a character thing on Skye, Hopefully, I will have her, like, assassin alter ego name, her Elias, Elias, I'm not sure what it's called, decided. Sky was sent to unalive Aura's father, but 
Aura put up a pretty good fight against Sky, being the first person to ever actually like defeat her and unmask her. And I will not say what happens after that because Sky, you know, is one of my main characters of my story. So revealing that will like reveal what side Aura is on, and I don't want to do that. Next up is personality. Personality I don't have completely finalized, so some things might and probably will change. Aura is book smart rather than street smart, which is kind of something I do for where my characters get their knowledge and if they're kind of more mindful or just go, go, go. Aura is extremely cautious and probably one of the biggest introverts you will ever meet. She is kind and like sweet and like literally every word you could use to describe someone who is caring and loving and nice. Another thing I have on this character sheet is the biggest regret and deepest secret of all of my OCs, but Aura does not have one yet because Aura I feel like wouldn't really have any regrets because she's not done anything bad in her life, but of course that can always change. Again, I'm still fleshing out these characters. None of this is finalized because this is why I don't start writing my books yet because I always change my OCs. I change them up so much and I change my backstories and everything because if I start writing, I'm just going to change something. Make book. Anyways, off topic. Her favorite color is white. Her favorite food is basically any kind of soup. And her favorite music is like lo-fi, I guess. Like kind of lo-fi music. I'm not sure what category this should go in, but I do have a religion, like religions in these, um, in this story, but obviously these aren't the religions we have in this main world. I have a pantheon of gods and like goddesses in my world, so basically Aura worships the main pantheon. I definitely want to do something about my pantheon of gods and goddesses in this world because they originally played a big role in the story, but over time I kind of changed that up a bit. Anyways, that's all I have on Aura. Thank you guys all so much for watching and tell me who you want to hear about next. I really enjoy making these videos and it's so fun sharing my OCs. Also, let me know if you kind of want like some more context and backstory on this world because I can definitely make a video about that. Thank you guys again all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!